Twitter account. That I want to I want to advertise this Twitter account. With uh, it's called Crazy Ass Moments in American Politics. Uh, if you haven't followed this Twitter account yet, I highly recommend it. Crazy Ass Moments in American Politics. What they do is they basically just like look for random goofball shit from any moment in U.S. politics and then just post it with funny captions. It's great. So I want to I want to play this one because I was laughing my fucking face off this morning. Um, and this is, uh, the caption is Bill Clinton reads off totally kick-ass 90s video game ads and acts like it's a bad thing. So you know what? Let's have some fun. Let's start the show with some classic Billiam Clinton. And if you look at some of these ads, it's hard to argue with the straight face that the games were made for adults in the first place. Like the one Arthur mentioned. Advertisements have a particular role here. They have the power to egg children on and lure them in. Every parent knows what response a commercial for sugar cereal or the latest Star Wars toy will get from their children. People advertise because it works. They want that product in one way or the other. They're determined to get it. So we ought to think twice about the impact of ads for so-called first-person shooter video games. Like the recent ad So the best part about this clip is he talks about so called first person shooter video games and then like half the shit he reads off is not first person shooter video games. But again, this is funny as fuck, but it's also like we haven't advanced anywhere as a society, right? Like it ha we haven't advanced anywhere as a society. Our society has been stagnant, our conversations, our debates have always been the same. Right, like just a couple months ago, people were blaming video games for the Uvalde mass shooter, right, mass shooting. So I'm just throwing this out there, but you know, this, it gets really good here. Twice about the impact of ads for so-called first-person shooter video games. Like the recent ad for a game that invites players to, and I quote, <clears throat> get in touch with your gun-toting, cold-blooded, murdering side. I was given uh, today, Arthur brought me the magazine with the ad that, uh, that he mentioned, and he was kind enough to mark it for me. There really is a gun here. It says, more fun than shooting your neighbor's cat. <laughs> I was uh, given another ad that says, what kind of psycho drives a school bus into a war zone? And here's a school bus heavily armed. This came out right after the incident in Springfield, Oregon. Here's an ad that turns the argument I just made on its head. Psychiatrists say it's important to feel something when you kill. And then it goes on to say, you ought to get this technology because it bumps and you feel it. So again, he's talking about so-called first-person shooter games. And he's like describing like, you know, car games. He's describing like fucking robot games. He's describing like fucking controllers. Like... <laughs> I just, it's, this is, it's so good. It says, every sensation, every vibration, every mutilation, nine programmable weapons buttons, customizable feedback software, push the stick that pushes back and feel your pain. And here's one that the most unbelievable all, it says, kill your friends guilt free. <laughs> now, obviously, now, of course, the advert, Kill Your Friends Guilt Free, is for the video game Guilty Gear. So it's a pun based on the video game. But again, I just, I thought this was hilarious. I saw this in my Twitter feed this morning. And you know what? I, again, you gotta follow this account. Crazy ass moments in American politics at ampole underscore moment. This is a banger account. There's lots of funny shit on here. So I thought this one was hilarious. Um, and even funnier was this speech actually led to the Guilty Gear uh, series throwing Bill Clinton references into the games because of this speech. Little fun factoid. Um, but again, the, so the list of so-called first-person shooters includes, to my understanding, zero first-person shooters. <laughs> it includes controllers and, like, fucking, like, robot games, you know? But anyway, 
That's Bill Clinton, folks. Once again, we have not grown much in the last 23 years, unfortunately, but what are you going to do?